Hi, welcome to my channel Power of PowerPoint with Shruti Sharma, where I share creative PowerPoint ideas to help professionals or students like you create more engaging presentations. Today, I am going to show you three different ways which you can use to insert pictures in a shape and create some really beautiful layouts. So, without any further delay, let's begin. A lot of people ask me how to create good-looking slides. If I have to give you one tip that can actually uplift the look and feel of your slide instantly, I would say use pictures. PowerPoint is a visual tool, right? So we may have a lot of data, we may have pictures, we may have charts, we may have other graphs, but always try to break the clutter using pictures that can make your presentation look fabulous. I'm going to actually show you a couple of slides where I have created some really nice layouts using just this simple technique that we are going to learn today. All the slides cannot be full picture slides. What we can do is we can put pictures into multiple shapes and that can give you a lot of space to put your content plus the presentation will look visually delightful. So for example, let's look at this slide. It's a title slide. So rather than keeping it very simple and basic, you could actually do something like this. And there are not too many elements on this slide if you see. But the picture has been used in a very, very innovative manner rather than putting it in a regular square or rectangular shape, right? Let's move forward. So if this is the before slide, if we have three pointers and we want to use a little bit of icons, we want to make sure that the slide look presentable, we could do something like this. Again, it's extremely simple. Just usage of this picture and a little bit of icons has changed the slide totally. This is one of the most regular content that we get, right? Where we speak about one particular element, one particular organization, one particular person. So for something like this, you could use a layout which is really vibrant, very dynamic and just instantly captures attention of the audience. So you can do all this and more by learning this technique. Another layout using this technique. Let's look at this one. It's a very, very simple slide. Besides this picture that you see, it's a very basic slide with a gradient in the background, but it looks beautiful, right? In case you want to know how to create gradients, I am putting the link of that video that I have already posted in the description box. You can learn to create some beautiful gradient using that technique. You know slides where you have to create a collage of multiple pictures. So rather than using a regular square picture or a rectangular picture, you could create something like this. So let's begin with this technique where we are going to learn how to insert picture in shapes. So I will also tell you my personal favorite out of all these three, but we are going to see all the three. So I am going to start with a very, very basic shape. I'm going to show you a couple of more references uh, once we have learned all the three techniques. So the first technique that we are going to start with is crop to shape. So I am going to insert a picture. So all three techniques have different way to go about them. In the first technique, we get the picture inserted on the PowerPoint slide first. All you need to do is just click on the picture, go to crop on top, which we generally use to crop the picture. Instead of clicking here, we will click on the arrow at the bottom and we'll do crop to shape. So I am going to take a very simple shape right now, which is a circular shape. So I've taken the shape, but as you can see, it's not a perfect circle, right? It's more like an oval shape. So as you can see, this is not a perfect circle. The aspect ratio of this is not one is to one, like how it is for a circle or a square. It's more of an oval shape. So I'm going to go here and there's something called aspect ratio right here. I'm going to click on one is to one. And now you can actually move and decide what part of the picture you want to keep. Like I want this to be exactly in the center. And I've got myself a perfect circular shape. So let's try it once again. I'm going to take a different picture this time. Let's try with this one. Double click on the picture. Go to crop. Click on the arrow underneath crop. Crop to shape. And choose whichever shape you want to use. So for example, here I'm going to use this kite shape. And in here also, if you see the kite shape is not exact 1 is to 1 ratio. So I'm going to go to aspect ratio and click on 1 is to 1. And now you can decide what area do you want to keep. Perfect. 
so i hope this first technique of inserting pitch in a shape is clear it's called crop to shape i'm just going to quickly tell you the steps again click on the picture go to arrow underneath crop go to crop to shape and choose whichever shape you want to crop the image to so it's extremely simple but it's really useful technique so now we'll go to the second technique which is fill picture in the shape so this is something that you might have used in your previous presentations in this one you have to first bring the shape that you want to use like in the first technique we always used to get the image on the presentation first in this one it's going to be a little different we will choose the shape first so i am going to for example choose this shape all right i'm going to keep it from top to bottom so i'm going to right click on this and click on format shape and you will have this menu on the right hand side where you can actually choose to put a gradient color to put a picture or texture or a pattern so i'm going to click on picture or texture fill and i'm going to choose my picture after clicking on insert so i want to use this picture for example so can you see the picture is looking really compressed it hasn't come in its proper ratio but in this one you have this option of actually changing it so i am going to work on this to make sure that it does not look compressed so this will also help you to keep a certain part of the picture if you don't want uh, the part that it is selecting right now you can actually move it around using this technique i'm going to further expand it because i think it's still not in the right ratio yeah i think now we are somewhere there and now if i want to create a layout i can just keep it on one side place my text here or place my graphs here or place any sort of elements that i may have in my presentation so i'm going to show you one more example of this technique So as I said earlier in this one you will have to bring the shape first. Let's try to use a little innovative shape this time. So you may or may not use this but just for this example I'm going to take this shape. Right click for mat painter. Click on picture or texture fill. It has taken the same picture so I'm going to click on insert and choose a different picture. Again this also looks distorted or compressed right so you can always make changes by clicking on the right hand side these four things that you see offset left offset right offset top and offset bottom yeah now it looks much better i'm going to get rid of the outlines so that was second technique where we actually fill or insert picture in a shape now we will come to the third technique which is my personal favorite and a lot of people do not know about this technique the first two i think most of the people end up using these two techniques to insert picture or to crop picture in a shape but this third technique is the most easiest one and i personally use this all the time whenever i have to insert picture this is the technique that i go for because uh, one great thing about this technique is you can actually use it for shapes which you have created which means let me just show you a quick example if i want to create my own shape so let's do this this is a regular shape which is there in powerpoint but i'm going to click on edit point and create my own shape in case you want to know more about edit points i am going to put the link of my video in the description box it's a beautiful tool which can actually help you create your own shapes and i'm going to do this so this is the shape that i want to use for my presentation and i'm going to get my picture so in this case so if you remember i'll just quickly revise it for the first crop to shape you get the picture first and you crop the picture to the shape in the second technique you get the shape first and then you insert picture in the shape in this one the third technique which is intersect tool you will have to bring both the elements on the slide so i'm going to get the picture as well as the shape i'm going to send it to back so what you need to do in this is select the picture press control and select the shape 
once both the things are selected click on drawing tools there's a feature called merge shapes it's a magical magical tool i'm going to teach a lot about this one in my later video so right now we are going to only cover the intersect part so the moment i press intersect can you see the picture and the shape have intersected and they've created this beautiful picture in a shape if you want to change the area that you want to cover you can always use crop now so i can choose if i want to cover this if i don't want this i want only the boats i can do this so you can do all this with this beautiful feature i'm going to show you this again i'll get the shape that i want to use and i will get the picture on the slide Now all I need to do is send this picture to back and I'm going to reduce the size since I want most of the area to be covered. Yeah, perfect. Select the picture, press control, click on the shape, go to drawing tools, merge shapes and intersect and you have your picture ready. and it's a very very simple and very easy now if i want to change the picture i can just right click and change the picture using one command i don't need to go through the whole exercise again and the chances of pictures getting distorted in this is really really low so in if you see in most of the cases you're going to get a perfect picture let me show you once again right click change picture perfect ratio since this is a new technique i'm going to give you one more demo to make sure that you understand how this works so i'm going to get a picture on the slide and i'm going to get the shape that i would want to use all right okay very simple click on the picture first and then click on the shape go to drawing tools once you have selected both the elements and then you will be able to see this feature called merge click on insert and you have your beautiful shape here right so it's a very very simple and very effective tool i hope that you all liked it i'm going to show you a couple of more slides because uh, if you see slide templates online on freepick.com or pinterest you will see a lot of usage of these techniques because you can create some really really beautiful layouts using this very very simple tool so if you see slides like this you can just create these beautiful looking shapes and pictures using any of the three techniques that i just taught you but uh, if you ask me as i said earlier intersect is my personal favorite because i think it's a very very simple yet i don't have to think about you know the aspect ratio of the picture because it just takes the perfect ratio again in this one for example if you see this this is a shape which has been customized which has been created using edit points in this one intersect would be the perfect tool to create something like this or to create layout like this so what you could do to practice is actually just take a screenshot of these layouts try to recreate these layouts and i think that will help you immensely create your presentation then make them look visually delightful so even for simple slides like meet the team slide where you want to put the pictures in circle shape you could use these tools again a very very simple and basic layout for a title slide using the same technique there are lakhs and lakhs of layout that you can create using this very very simple tool i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe If you want to see more tools that I have covered so far you can check out my channel Power of PowerPoint with Shruti Sharma I'm going to put edit points and gradient in the description box so that you can learn those two techniques which I have shown you here If you have any feedback for me if you want me to cover any particular topic in the next video leave me a comment and I will surely surely cover that in my next one Thank you so much for watching this video